Hello, my name is Angeline Marie from AngelineMarie.net and today we're learning about canvas painting. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to paint canvas totes. These are some of the basic supplies you need. You need some acrylic paint. These I picked up at a local craft store. Very, very cheap, so wait for a sale. You need something to pour the paint on so it's ready for you to go. You need a little canvas tote bag. You need a piece of cardboard or something inside so that when you're painting this surface, the colors do not bleed through on the back. That's up to you though. If you like kind of freehand, you want to see what happens on the other side, you can have that. You also need some brushes of different widths, a pencil, and a ruler if you'd like. Now when you start your design, I'm just going to put my name on this. I'm going to put a line so that I can kind of see in pencil because this will wash away. The acrylic paint will stay on the canvas tote. Now this isn't primed, which means when I start applying the paint, ah, you also need a little bit of water. When I start applying the paint, it will start to bleed through. Now I can get as dark or as light as I like, and I can just go as thick. Now I can go ahead and paint over this too. This paint will stay. So if you're worried about this canvas tote getting all dirty when you're outside enjoying it, and oops, you spilled your soda in it because you left it open, not a big deal. It will wash and the color will stay and all your clothes will stay very neat. Now you can go crazy and paint in designs. I might put in a little bit of a wash of blue just so you can see what the paint can do. Be very, very loose with this. Notice how the paint is a little bit different. It's really bleeding. That is according to how much water you put in the paint. Because notice my name is very dark. And I can go darker or lighter. It's going to take, I would say, an hour or two for this to dry if you're in a well ventilated area. And that's another thing. With this kind of paint, you don't need to worry about toxicity because most of it is fine for you. Let me see if I can get in a palm tree just because I think they're fun. You can mix these colors. I'm very surprised and very happy with how well they mix. And there we go. You can also, if you make a mistake like, oh my gosh, I painted on top of the sky. Or you know what, I want the sky there later. Now what do I do? Well, that's not difficult to change. Because your sky's watered down in this example, all I have to do is keep painting on top of it and it will fix. That's the great thing about acrylic paint. This is Angeline Marie. Thank you for watching.